a Welch test is used to test the hypothesis that two or more population means are equal to each other. So the null hypothesis would look like what you see on the screen, where mu1 is equal to mu2 up to the number of groups that you have. In the sample that I'm going to be showing you, I have monthly diesel prices, and I'm going to be testing for seasonality. So the number of groups I have is going to be 12, one for each month. So in my seasonality example, my null is going to look like mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu3 is equal to mu4 and so on up until mu12, one for each month, January, February, March. And the alternative is going to be that at least one of these months are different from the others. Now you can use this test for any reason you see fit for why you'd want to ch check the means against each other. But for the, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use seasonality. For the purpose of this video, I'm using my example to test for seasonality using a Welch test. It's worth mentioning, though, that a Welch test has low power if there is a trend in the data that you're using. So if you know that there's a trend, if you've checked for a trend, it, it could be kind of a waste of your time. But I'm going to show you how to use this test because it can be used for anything else that you'd want to test means for. So I'm going to open up what's called degree days. To run the test, I'm going to click on View, Descriptive T Statistics and Tests, Equality Tests by Classification, and I have monthly data, so I'm going to set it at, at month. We're testing the means, so leave that checked, and the rest of it you leave alone and click OK. And this is your output for a Welch test, which uses the F test, F stat. Here's your test statistic and you have two different degrees of freedom and here's your uh, p-value the probability and you can see it's practically zero so there's according to our hypothesis test there is definitely seems to be some type of seasonality here in this one the next example I'm going to use is the price of diesel over the last 20 or so years so I'm going to open up diesel and this definitely has a trend, and as you can imagine, the price of diesel has just been, I mean, it's, it's not a random walk, it has been escalating for economically viable reasons. So click on View, Descriptive Statistics and Tests, Equality Tests by Classification, At Month, click OK, and there's your probability. The p-value is, <laughs> looks like 1, so that According to this test, it's saying there is no seasonality in the price of diesel. Which, this variable does have trend in it, so you wouldn't want to be running a test like this for seasonality on a variable that has trend. You'd want to be running that test inside of a regression model. But that's how you run a uh, Welch test. 